Hi, this is Mark from Chris. Um, in this video, I just want to show you how you can use the bet results sheet in Excel to record your bets that have been triggered from Excel. So first of all, I've already opened up Excel. As you can see, it's just a blank worksheet. And betting assistant is already open also. At this point, I've only, I only have one sheet open, but I'm going to add another sheet for the results. Um, and I like to name my sheets so that they have a more meaningful name before I, before I start the login to Excel. So I'm just going to do that now. So now I have a, a sheet named market and a sheet named results. So I'm now going to link up betting assistant to the Excel sheets. Uh, you can see by default it's already picked up the market sheet name there. Uh, I'm going to tell it to log the bet results and I'm going to select the result sheet. Okay, so now you can see the Betfair market data in this in this sheet and the result sheet has the, the headings ready to record the results but nothing there yet. So I'm just going to place or trigger a bet from Excel uh, so that it can show you what gets put into the results sheet. So I'm just going to do a, a, a lay bet on this first runner here. Let's trigger that bet now. And there you go, it's been triggered and there's my bet reference. Uh, so I'm just gonna pause the video here and we'll come back uh, to this to see what uh, what's happened to that bet in the result sheet later on. Okay, so uh, I've come back to this market because uh, the run that I'd laid is now a non-runner. So that bet was canceled, I'm going to uh, lay the second runner now otherwise we won't have anything to put in the results sheet so okay so that's now been laid I'll pause the video again and we'll come back to this race once it's uh, completed so that we can see how the result sheet shows that uh, result. Okay, so as you can see, this market is now closed. So the, I know the results will be available. Um, whilst I had the video paused, it actually place a not triggered another bet from the sheet, a little back bet on a different runner, just so you can see how that looks in the result sheet. So we have the result sheet now, you can see there's no results recorded. Um, but what happens is when you go to a new market, I won't do that just yet, I'm just gonna clear those triggers so that I don't accidentally trigger some more bets. Right, okay, so I've got back to the results sheet and now I'm going to select the next market in the quick bit list here and that should tr trigger the sh result sheet to update with those results and let's see that happen now and there we go you can see that the lay bet and the back bet they both lost not surprisingly because it was uh, um, a very hot favorite in that in that last race um, uh, you can see uh, that the bet reference might not look uh, quite right 
uh, in some instances if the column is a bit short um, in the width we can uh, you, you you'll get sometimes get this happening um, the best way to solve that is just to reformat the uh, the column so it's just format it to a number rather than letting it stay at general uh, we don't need any decimal places there we go bet ref looks uh, how you would expect to see it now so there you can see those are the two uh, bets that were triggered and and lost um that was the one that was the non-runner uh, that got cancelled um so now i'm going to just uh, on this new market this we've got up uh, i'm going to do another lay bet actually so, um let's just lay this first runner again oh <laughs> just as i did that um it went in play and you can see that it's come up with event suspended so let's just get rid of that and it should re-trigger the bet there we go so that's now laid now i want to show you what happens if you if i if i was to select the next race now let's just get rid of that trigger again if i was to select the next race now we know that this result can't be uh, can't be available because obviously it's still in play but I just want to show you what it shows you on the results sheet and there we go you'll see this result not available um, uh, if uh, we were to if we'd go to another race later on um, which would cause this sheet to update again it would retrieve the result of that race if it's available um, you can also force that result sheet to update by using minus six in this cell q2 that that special trigger there tells betting assistant to update the sheet uh, which will also retrieve the result if it's available uh, and there you go so that's the uh, how you use the results sheet option uh, I should just say at this point um, the, the results sheet only records results for bets that have been triggered from the sheet any bets if I was to go on to betting assistance itself and place a bet from, manually from here uh, those bets would not get recorded on the result sheet it only records bets that have been triggered from the Excel sheet Okay, thank you for your time.